Hi, I'm Lou. My daughter and I are turning this 130 year old barn into a house. She's busy over here touching up paint. Now up to the stair railing and we're going to make it out of oak beams and three quarter inch rebar. There's the rebar. The beam we're using actually came from inside the barn and when we clean it up, it'll look a little more like that. Got it mocked up with cardboard and tape. First, we'll box this part in to make it look a little more substantial. We did that by nailing on a six inch and four inch trim board. The bottom looks like this and the top looks like that. There are the two beams in place. The bottom one is sitting right on the wall and it was a little too short to make it up here. So we're gonna box that in. The top of the top rail is 34 inches above the nose of the stairs. Spindles need to be no more than four inches apart which works out to six inches if you measure on the slant. So I've got marked every six inches here. Then I used a level from those and went up and marked the top beam. I'm drilling holes in the center of each mark with a drill with a big auger bit. These bottom holes are about an inch deep. The holes are all drilled and now I'm working on making this fresh cut wood look more rough sawn like this. And I'm doing that first with a sawzall sideways and then a coarse nylon brush. On the rough cut sides, I'm using this to smooth it out and remove all the splinters so it ends up looking like that. Now we'll cut our rebar with an angle grinder. There's all the full length rebar installed except this one so I can show you how to do it. I just drilled the top hole deeper so I can shove that all the way in then bring the bottom one over, drop it down, and it's in. These old beams have occasional holes in it like this and this, and all I'm doing is cutting another chunk and gluing it in there and then filling in with a mixture of sawdust and glue. The spindles are cut and we're gonna paint them flat black. I cut the top off the post and angled the edges. To mount the rails, I put two screws there, one down in that hole, one in the hole up there, and one in the hole up there. The rods are back in and we'll probably put some clear silicone up in here to keep them in place. There's the railing all done. Thanks for watching. So to mount our rails, I put two screws there, one up in that hole, one in there. This is my pain in the ass daughter.